In the centre of the French countryside was a beautiful chateau, left abandoned and forgotten for over 40 years. Then, one year ago, a family from the UK fell in love with its beauty and embarked on an adventure. Where that big tree is there, uh, you can see the you can see the pillar. To bring back to life this forgotten chateau. Join myself Terry, my partner Ash, my mum Tracy, Dad Tony, and nephew Jonathan in our family adventure at Chateau de La Lasalle. So the next job we're going with is here in the salon. Um, the coven that we put up in here was only the polystyrene one. In the bedroom and the bathroom we got the plaster one. But because we wanted a bit of a decorative one, um, it was easy just getting the polystyrene one. And with the ceiling that not being straight, it was going to be a faff one fit in it. So we've got that up, all being painted with the base coat of white, but Obviously it's just sort of blending in and with it being quite decorative and with it being the salon I wanted it to be a bit more sort of just a bit nicer and grander so um, to tie in with the panels and the rest of the wood that we're going to have in here <clears throat> I'm going to try putting some of the um, wood stain that we've got I'm going to paint that on um, and give it a couple of coats to give it the look of wood and then the little detail that we've got on there I'm going to put a little bit of gold on just to enhance it and make it feel a bit nicer. Um, so yeah, hopefully it'll turn out all right. Um, otherwise Ash will go crazy because he's just painted all the room. <laughs> and I'm going back over it. But yeah, but hopefully it'll all turn out okay anyway. So I'll try it now. So that's the first coat done on the coven. Um, I've just gone over with a, quite a light coat at the moment. Um, obviously it looks a little bit naff at the moment because I'll have to build up. It'll probably take around about three, maybe four coats um, just to build it up to make it look like the deep wood that I'm wanting. Um, but I have done it before and it did turn out really well. So I, I know it will get there bit by bit. Um, it's just a, a bit of a slow process to get it there. But by the end of it, it should look like a like wood coven, um, which will be nice because God knows how much it would cost to get wood coven just for a small room alone. Um, so it'll be nice and it'll give the room a bit of character as well. So once this is dried, I'll go over with the second coat and then repeat it for the third and fourth one. And then once that's dried, I'll be able to go over with a bit of um, either gold leaf or a bit of gold paint just to um, highlight the detail on it and then it'll look brilliant. And then we can get the room painted and get it all tied in. But while I'm going over, when I'm putting the stain on, um, with the brush, I'm just sort of like twisting the brush once it's on um, and just moving it around, just so it gives a little bit of a feel of like the, the wood grain. And when I build up the layers bit by bit, um, obviously they'll show through a little bit each time. 
So just to give it a bit of interest as well. Um, but it's going to be quite dark wood anyway, so um, it'll be fine and good. So yeah, so I'll leave this dry and then I'll come back in probably about an hour or two um, and I'll be able to give it another coat and go over it again. So yeah. So the next thing I need to get sorted for the bathroom is um, a sink unit of some sort. So even though we had about six or seven sinks that were in the shower from different rooms, I just wanted to think a little bit different. So I managed um, last year to pick up two of these units. I've got a bigger one and a smaller one, which will go either side in the bathroom um, and they look quite nice. But they need a bit of work doing both of them. Obviously the marble's cracked in a couple of places. So I'll have to glue that back together with the resin um, and make it all structural the okay. Um, and then I'm gonna take the top off because they have it where they, they can go back to forwards. Um, but I won't need the top on and then I'll be able to put the center section back, fit it in place so it's just permanently in that position. Um, this is a smaller one and this will just be used as just like a little side unit and then the bigger one will be used for the sink um, but that needs a, a lot more work so first of all I'll get the all of the brackets off on this one um, and then I can get all the marble out make sure that's all okay stick it back together and then piece all the other bits back together so yeah I'll uh, try and get these off now
So we're getting there with the coven now. It's had two coats of the stain um, and it's looking fantastic. It's probably going to need about two more coats though to get it to the colour that I'm wanting to match the panelling and the beams and stuff like that. So all I'm going to do now I'm on to the third coat is I'm going to give it a good good coating of this stain and then I'm going to use one of these tools and um, they're just little wood grain tools and they give the effect of, of wood um, and they are fantastic. They were all arranged in the 80s and 90s um, and they, they do give the, the like sort of resemblance of wood as long as you're used in small doses and stuff like that. So what I'll do is I'll give it a good coat, go over with this um, and then the next coat it'll sort of dull it down and you'll just get a very faint um, wood grain effect on it and with it being on the coat and it's not like you're going to be in like direct sight of it. So it should be good. Um, so you get two sizes, got the bigger one and the smaller one. I've had these for ages now, quite a few years. Um, well, I'll go along with the smaller one, just rocking it backwards and forwards um, and it'll give you a bit of a grain effect. And hopefully it'll turn out all alright. So, so I'll give it a good coat now and then I'll go off afterwards with these, rocking it backwards and forwards. So I've got all of the second vanity unit together um, 
Obviously this one was the one that had quite a few cracks in and it's a bigger one of the two. Um, but I was wanting to use this one as a like, for the sink unit. So I've picked up a, a little rectangular sink and fits perfectly on there. Um, and then I've got a tap as well. So the tap I was thinking I'll have sat on there. Um, and it'll just be, it'll be lovely to have another third floor in the bathroom. So the next step is to drill two holes in the marble. One is in the center, so it's not too bad, but the one where I want the tap is right over the, the joint that I've had to um, just glue together. So I don't know how that's gonna turn out. We're just gonna have to hope for the best that it's gonna be okay. Um, and then go from there. So, I've done drilling holes in tiles and stuff like that before, but I've never actually done it in the marble. So it's going to be another first and see what happens. So all I'm going to do is I've got some masking tape. I'm just going to mask off where I'm wanting the hole um, and I'll be able to mark that on there and it'll help with the drill, just give it a, a bit of um, grip as I'm first going in. And then on the drill bit, I've got a diamond cutting um, drill bit for the right size that I need for the waste for the sink and then for the part for the tap as well so we'll see how this goes and hope for the best <laughs> through really well to be honest it's quite good so we've got the first piece of marble out and um, that's going to be for the plug hole um, and then I can attach the waste on but first because I put a piece of wood underneath to help support the broken marble and just to help support the weight of the sink to be honest and um, the next layer is obviously the chipboard wood that I'm gonna to have to go through so I've got my wood cutting bit on I'm gonna go through that and then I've got a clear hole to attach the waste for the sink on and then once that's done, I can move on to the difficult one, which is going to be the tap hole. Um, and hopefully it'll go as easy as this one um, with it being over the crack and it won't crack anymore. But yeah, so I'll get this done now and then I'll move on to that one. fitted in which honestly it looks absolutely amazing um, it's exactly how I wanted it and it's it's been really easy to do to be honest and 
it's drilling the holes in the marble so you're getting it all together and stuff like that it's been really good so I'll get this up on the third floor and then I'll get it all plumbed in and then with the drawers obviously because I'm gonna have all the pipe work and all that under there you're not really gonna have much space so I'll probably just take the fronts off each of the drawers and just have them as just false drawers so obviously it won't be there to be used but it's it's just more for sure we've got the other units which we'll be able to put all the stuff in and um, to, to store stuff but yeah looks brilliant obviously tap all fitted in sinks all fitted in so touch wood there'll be no leaks when it's all plumbed in but yeah it's all good And that's the unit all finished. So it's turned out absolutely amazing. Can't believe like how good it looks. So now I've got it all together. I need to try and get it up on the third floor and then I can get it all plumbed in. Um, and it's, it's all sorted, which is good. But it's fantastic obviously that we can still use part of the drawers now and I can still get to the plumbing at the back if I ever need to for the waste and obviously the taps. Yeah, it's all good. I've got usable drawers still because I was just going to plan on just putting the fronts on um, and keeping them fixed. But when I was looking at it, I thought, oh, well, I'll be able to alter the drawers and keep them um, and still have a little bit of storage in them. So, yeah, so what turned out to be a little unit that was pretty much ready for the skip. Um, with the broken marble and chips and all that um, being repurposed and now we a little vanity sink unit so like I said it just looks amazing and especially with the handles the handles we picked up from Action and they were less than a euro each um, and they, they go perfect with the colour that I want for the bathroom and the, the colour of the wood they just finish it off so it's another good job done I'll go and crack on the sink house now. There's only two of us left. There is. Well, scared everyone away. Patrick's here somewhere. And Louis here somewhere. <laughs> but only two working. <laughs> yeah, lovely and peace and quiet. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Been a good week as well. Obviously, it's been a bit of a hectic week. So we've had Jonathan's birthday party to start out with. Yeah. We've had family over from the UK. Yeah. Um, we've got family going to the UK. We've got fam more family coming mm. from the UK. Yeah. So it's been, it's been fantastic. It's been wonderful having them over. Yeah. Um, just for another set of hands and just for them to enjoy it during summer as well. Yeah, to see it. Like I said, they were here in winter and slogged in freezing cold weather. Yeah. At least they were able to be in a pair of shorts and t-shirts this time. And yeah, enjoy it. Actually enjoy it. And it's been good work-wise. Obviously, we managed to 
get the two van units sorted. Yep. They were in a bit of a sorry state when I got them last year. <laughs> you, bit. you bought them? Well, I know, but I could see how they're going to be. Yeah, I just see pieces of rubbish. <laughs> and you bring them in and then you make them look amazing. <laughs> But I can't do that and I can't see it, so when you're buying stuff, I just see it as tap. Ta That's why I just tend to agree with you now when you say it's going to be like this about. Yeah. So, obviously both of them had broken marble tops, which I had to sort out. And then the sink unit one, that was in quite a bad state. Um, so I took all that apart, obviously managed to drill two holes in marble with no cracks. Well done. I know, that was fantastic. I was so pleased with that. And you had to drill through one of the cracks as well though, didn't you? Right on the crack, yeah. yeah. Um, in fact, you haven't cracked it more. That's, that's an yeah. achievement in itself. So the resin worked because even when I took the piece out, I was trying to break like the little circle bit. <laughs> and it didn't break. Oh well, that was good. Um, and it's it's turned out fantastic. The sink unit. Um, with the it does it looks amazing. Mm -hmm. Just need to get upstairs. Just need, need the septic <laughs> done. I just want to bath. So yeah, so that's that sorted. So I can get that up, get that plumbed in, get that sorted, um, and then the coven. <laughs> which obviously turns out fantastic. Out of this world. Ah, yeah. so from, from what was relatively inexpensive coven. But it was only look, polystyrene cheap coven, wasn't it? Yeah, so but it looks like you've paid hundreds of thousands for it. Yeah. Obviously we've done the same in our old house in... Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, I know you could do it. And it's, again with that, I didn't yeah. have any questions. I knew what you could do with that, but I, I still didn't even... Obviously I lived in Scotland. I was in Scotland at the time, working away when you did the coven in the living room and that in, the, in Barnaby. Yeah. So i never seen any of it. So, yeah. So... Yeah, yeah. All I've seen is a, a piece of plastic stick to the wall, and now you've made a masterpiece out of it. So now it looks really good. Yeah, it is. So yeah, so that'll tie I think in for the salon. Um, so the the wood coffin will tighten with the panels, and not tighten with the floor. Yeah. So it'll be it'll be nice. It'll be staggered. No, it looks really good. Yeah. Good. No, it is. Uh, I can't believe like. It is, does actually feel like rooms up there now, though, just with the, them little touches. Yeah, getting there. And again, I keep saying it looks like a room, but these were these were shells that, at the time when we started working on them, we had no idea that we had the actual skills to be able to get them yeah, to so where I, they were, to where they are now. Yeah. I didn't know we could do that. Yeah. We've had a couple of visitors, obviously, that well, followers that have shown up and just lovely. just shown up and wanted to have a look around and that so that's been nice so thank you so much for coming over yeah um, that's been good and then um, oh, so Regina and Ray Kurt sent that lovely Lego thing for Jonathan thank you so he absolutely yeah, loved it yeah and thank did. you for the cards and everything there, there was quite a few so yeah I can't say thank you to everyone but thank you so much to everyone who thought of him and all the well wishes and everything yeah. he got and Brenda as well thank you so much obviously for his gift card yeah oh yeah yeah, yeah. He's happy, he's got a tool set, so. He was, he was so happy, bless him. <laughs> and then the lady that sent mum the bombs, the Oh, bombs, the bee bombs, yeah, bee yeah. Bombs. Um, was it Susan? I can't remember. So yeah, he sent the bee bombs. Yeah, we're going to get so all of them in wherever we can. Yeah, she was over the moon with them. She was. So I've yeah. I've never seen them before, did you? No, she's planted a couple of them. So Has she? Yeah, just on the little hill. Oh, nice one, that'll be nice. She's got some in there. So yeah, so it's all good. The rest so it's going to be groundkeeping and then back to work on the third floor in it the next couple of weeks. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Again, you can't see where we're sat right now, but this this time last year, yeah, it was unreal. Ash has been busy, but he's just been out. It's just the same thing. I can't record. It's just going around in thing. circles. <laughs> no, no. There is a bit that we've recorded, but yeah, it is a bit repetitive. So. It is a bit. It's just one of them things. This has to be gone over like hundred times before. But it's starting to look good, considering you couldn't even see you. I know. It's getting there. Water basins last year, it's actually starting to look somewhere flat. Yeah. And obviously, thank you so much. Thank you for watching. And yep. don't forget to check our Facebook, Instagram, and obviously we have YouTube. Yep. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really does help. It does. And we have a Patreon account there as well, which we have behind the scenes stuff, so you can see a little bit more work that's going on on the third floor and yep. throughout the shadow on that. And then that's about it. That's it. That's us for this week and we'll see you on Wednesday. Wednesday, Wednesday it's Jonathan's birthday party, oh. which was fun. Okay, it was. It was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I think the adults had more fun than the kids. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> the kids had fun. <laughs> yeah, we were pushing them off the slide in the <laughs> castle. Get off! <laughs> it's all good. Right. Yeah. Well, we're going to sit, enjoy the sun and enjoy your drinks. We are. And the peace and quiet. Yeah. Cheers to everyone out there. Cheers to you.
and we'll see you Wednesday. If you'd like to join us on our family journey, bring them back this once forgotten chateau, then please join us on Patreon with behind the scenes footage, updates, live chat, and your very own piece of the chateau.